Presenting knowledge to younger generations has been one of the most critical issues since the discovery of bronchoscopy by Gustav Killian. The Schwab Hedge Pediatric Institute was operating between 1949 and 2008 in the capital of Hungary. This was the venue where Edgar Seke, one of the preeminent teachers of pediatric bronchology, built up his special training school. Probably, it was among the first places in the world where pediatricians performed rigid bronchoscopies. The setup was based on the symbolic spring achieved through diagnosis and treatment of the life-threatening bronchial fistula and pulmonary tuberculosis. As the leading pediatric professor Kerpo Franius told, in the past, the role of bronchology in children's hospitals was relatively limited in scope. In recent years, however, besides being an indispensable aid in the clinical work of pediatricians, Bronchology has become an independent clinical discipline. It is hoped that it will not only help bronchologists, but will assist all concerned in managing and curing children diagnosed with pediatric diseases. It's hard to imagine today that in the beginning of the 60s, pediatric bronchoscopies were performed around five years of age in local anesthesia and under three years of age, sometimes without anesthesia. To improve this situation in Hungary, traveled Professor Seke to Germany to learn narcosis bronchoscopy in Magdeburg and Lostau at the department of Professor Thal and Professor Friesen. Coming back to Hungary, he founded a separate department called Bronchoscopic Department. I started to work uh, in 1994 uh, in Pediatric Institute Schwabhead at Pediatric Bronchological Department that I was specialized uh, pediatric pulmonologist and pediatric bronchologist. Professor C.K. Uh, taught me not only pediatric bronchological practice, but uh, he led me to scientific activity as well. The lab and department called Bronchology Unit, founded by Edgar C.K. in Hungary, was ahead of its time in several respects. Pediatric pulmonary diagnosis, radiography, and anesthesia were kept in one hand, and the intricate use of these qualifications resulted in a distinctive approach to treat bronchi and the diseased lung. Bronchoscopy and bronchology it is not only a game with words. Bronchoscopy is itself the examination. And when we are speaking about bronchology, we think of a separate discipline at the borderline of other disciplines like ENT, pulmonary, intensive care, and several others. Mm to connect the disciplines with bronchology. Bronchoscopy proved to be a very safe method with extremely low complication rates. Through the power of photos, videos, and eventually digital recordings, the once secret world of the trachea and bronchi, depicted in drawings, had become more and more open for teaching examinations. This setup proved to be successful, and uh, the department attracted several physicians from, first from Hungary, later from Germany, and from all over the world. The training method and special lab of Professor C.K. was so much appreciated among the ENT surgeons. That's why the pediatric otolaryngologist spent three months in Schwabheid. That was the way how I got acquainted with the bronchoscopy unit. My obligatory three months long course uh, prolonged se for several decades and absolutely changed and deterred my professional life. The training lasted one to three months. The trainees had to be qualified enough to push their envelopes immediately. They had tubes in their hands and were let to perform guided bronchoscopies from the very first days of training. Meanwhile, they were involved in the bedside consultations and in the discussions on steps of treatment and examinations in the case of each patient. The evaluations of the trainees was informative, including the number of guided and independently performed interventions, 
and the general opinion on their abilities to carry out different interventions. Therefore, this empowered all of the students to practice pediatric bronchoscopies not only in Hungary, but in Germany and several European countries as well. Learning pulmonary diseases and bronchology in everyday life, participation in introducing new techniques, congresses and uh, articles, initial work for PCD, that all makes, the, makes this period unforgettable. The meetings with foreign colleagues have become more and more common. By the end of the trainings, most of the students became good friends. Edgar Seke might have played a significant role in obtaining the right to organize the World Congress dedicated to bronchoscopies in Budapest in 1998. Edgar Seke, like a clairvoyant, frequently had a feeling that this setup will change our kaleidoscopic world, saying, Sera una volta il vest. Since 2008, you cannot find a patient or hospital, nor hear the sounds of the clink clank of a bronchoscopic tube at the original site of the bronchoscopy unit. Nevertheless, the technique and the spirit of the once existing school continue to be significant, supported by the full emergency help at medical universities and county hospitals. It lives on in the hands of those who have gained the capabilities once upon a time in Budapest.